Now one might see the length of these two showcases combined and wonder just how on earth a single character can hold so much damn content. And you know what? I'm not gonna blame them for missing half of it, because even I'm flabbergasted, and I'm the one covering the thing. It's honestly insane, and once more the team of Mizarts, Cabrito, and Furry Eskimo deserve an insane amount of credit, as Wimble here took over a year to complete everyone. So I agree that the guy might be a bit of a bloated goat. That fact deserves appreciation no matter what, which is why we're here. And again, just like in part one, everything we're about to see and hear is configurable, so just make Wimble your own while you're at it. But you know what Wimble also owns a lot of? Random crap. But plenty of it is very worthy of a highlight, like his fireflies in a bottle here. It is a unique lantern, refueled by honey and or butterfly wings, that will give sanity to the wielder, as well as act as natural light. Light, meaning that one of these can keep plants growing in the night if active. And that's neat. As is this. The life jacket. And no, Beardo isn't dead, having been replaced with someone else. He is truly listing a boating item high on his favorites today. And that's because the jacket does what it's meant to do by saving our stats from a drowning, all the while giving the teensy tiny sanity regen while on boat alone. And I like that. So go down with the ship all you want, really. But the hound and spider disguises are next in line and take the cosplay to a whole new level. Not only will both do the obvious in neutralizing their respective mobs, including Spider Queen's mind, they will offer a plus 25 sanity per minute regeneration effect when near spiders and hounds, all the while seeing both mobs actually defending us if we get hit by something else while near them. Oh, and a couple bonus quotes. Enjoy. The cactus and or succulent bat, I guess, keeps the ball rolling and is essentially a hand bat with flat damages instead. When fresh, it will deal 60 damage no matter what. When it's stale, that will fall to 30 damage per hit. And when it's rotting, it will hit for 15 per swing until it's done for. Not only that though, every hit has a 25% chance to bleed our targets for 3 damage per second over the course of 5 seconds for an additional 15 damage. So get the prickin'. The plushy crafts return from part 1 with the plushy staff here that is a 44 damage per hit ranged weapon that can be given to our plushy buddies there in order for them to not only deal 50 damage a blast, but gain a speed boost as well. Plus, we only have 50 blasts with these things, while they will boast 100. So it's actually not really our weapon. It's theirs, but Maxwell also has some sneaky shadow synergies with these things too, so be aware of that. To continue though, the resource vacuumer can also be given to our stuffed companions in order for them and us to benefit from a 300 to 600 use lazy forager that may not be able to be refueled, no, but has a 15% increase in its range, so there you go. Get to sucking. And don't forget to suck down on some of this mod's foods either, as it does does have plenty of them as well, believe it or not. I was thinking maybe I'd make a part three here, but no, I'll shove them in now. Many are tied to Wimble being a goat who can eat grass, twigs, reeds, and more, of course. However, a select couple like the Grass Jam do give us unique regeneration effects and more. Plus, this section also lists everything that Wimble can just eat straight up, so you might want to note all that too. And again, check the pinned comment and description for this very Google Doc, as now we're going to get to the stuff that's kind of cool, sure, but pretty random. Like Wimble's exclusive plushy effigy here it is literally just a meat effigy, with a plus 10 sanity per minute aura to it, so do with that as you please. The grass crown and flowery grass armors are next, and can both be eaten by Wimble if you wish but are truly just here to stack them sanity gains. But hey, do note the armor protection of the ladder at the end of the day. And as an added bonus bit here, dark garlands are a thing for Wimple, and offer a plus 4.4 .4 sanity per minute as you can see, so have fun. But if you want a little more protection all around, then look no further than his grass or wood helmets. They are pretty basic armor pieces, similar to what we're used to in the base game, however Wimple benefits a little bit more 
more as both can drop all the negative sanity auras that are going to impact in the guy by 10% each. And that's important. As it only gets better with Mother Nature, of course, using those previous four gear pieces in some capacity, we can make even stronger armors here that reduce those drains by 15% instead. And yes, since we have one for the head and one for the body, this time we can stack them. Plus, they just look amazing. But the Explorer hats enter the fold, with the grass one being edible once more, all the while giving some insulation from the heat and rain, while the Explorer hat does the exact same, but better, while also preventing the effects of both the sandstorm and some spiky things, as you can see. So take advantage. The Captain's hat is a beefed up Polly Rogers hat that spawns a unique puffin instead that throws off another sanity regeneration aura while giving us a sanity the regeneration aura while we're on a boat itself. A familiar coat with but two pockets makes a very warm appearance, so do with that as you please, as I believe we've kinda earned it. The bud umbrella dropped by our plushy buddies is just a fun looking umbrella, so don't go thinking too much. Grass tools of many sorts, as you can see, are exactly what you would expect from a grass tool, and eventually burst into loot when they're done wasting our time in the early game for the most part. Wooden swords are also meant to be an early game alternative to weapons if you do so choose to go this route. Shadow Spears are decent enough but get better as Wimple loses his mind and body as we learned in part one and the very same can be said about the totally normal Dark Sword here, only you know, this one is the buffed up version of everything really. Do enjoy the unique sounds and effects however. And lastly, Wimple's Tent, which is just like Walter's portable tent but better as it actually gives plus two sanity per second this time around. But why an exclusive tent in this character of all things? I don't know. It was commissioned, I guess. And that's actually the last thing I want to address once more. Yes, Wimble is super overwhelming, and it might even hurt the character overall, but the work is the work. The team behind him got asked to make everything you just witnessed over two videos and then some, and I think they did it all with flying colors. Seriously. Over a year of talent and polish went in the Wimble here, and that is all I needed to know to lead me to showing him off to you all, regardless of how I or you feel about them, or if the views are not even that great. So whatever the case may be, all the love and thanks to Mizarts, Cabrito, Furry Eskimo, and Vaughn once again for all that you've contributed. Show them your appreciation, folks. Bye-bye.